They're super friendly here. <laughs> In Fuqua, you're probably gonna be eating out a lot. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, things like that. Jen and I pull back the reins a little bit when it comes to breakfast so we can save a little bit of money. And we're gonna take you to our favorite breakfast spot. Well, not really breakfast spot, but our favorite spot where we pick up breakfast items to then eat in our room. It's a simple stand on the side of the road. Is it breakfast food? I'm not really sure, but they're serving it and we've been eating it. Everything is basically fried. One of our favorites is the fried banana. And this is the magical woman who makes the fried bananas. Now the recipe looks fairly simple. She'll take a yellow banana, smash it on the table with a cleaver, flatten it out, and then she'll drop it in a batter that's the same consistency of a tempura or a pancake batter. From there it goes in the grease, but the real secret is she double fries them. So after a minute or two in the grease, she'll pull the banana out, re-dip it in the batter, drop it back in the grease, get that golden brown color, put it out on the table, and it is amazing. It's delicious, it's crunchy, it's soft on the inside. You need to come check them out when you're in Fuqua. World breaking records here in Fuquo. We were here last year, this thing was being built and we're proud to say that it's finally done. This is the longest and continuous three cable aerial car system in the world. The place is called Sun World and eventually it will be a water park. It's also currently a hotel. It's located at the very southern tip of Fuqua in the township of Antoy. And what it does is it takes you to Fuqua's second largest island called Han Tham. They did just build uh, like an eco park over there, so they're trying to promote ecotourism. It's a 15 minute ride. The cable car can hold up to 30 people, so they're really large cars that bring you there. And it's very scenic, so passing through you'll get some of the emerald green islands and crystal clear waters for your viewing pleasure. We've been battling sunny skies and then rainy skies and everything. So just to give you guys a little bit more of a timetable to travel here, November through March is high season. That's when it's gonna be, the sky's gonna be the sunniest. And then you'll run into a shoulder season from about uh, April to June. And then low seasons anywhere from July to about October. <laughs> One of the first things you'll notice when you're riding around across the entire island are these long, tall plants about three to four meters high. And what it actually is are pepper farms and they're pepper gardens and they are everywhere. So a lot of the pepper farms here in Fuquo do not offer tours, some of them do, but I think the main thing is to just walk through and you can actually just observe the pepper. You can, if you're lucky, you can see it being harvested. Main harvest season runs from February to July, but you can still visit the farms at any time of the year. Now, because we don't have a tour guide, we're gonna be your tour guide for the day and hit you with some random pepper facts. You ready? The Fuqua, just so you know, its three main exports are pearls, pepper, and fish sauce. Vietnam is actually the world's largest producer and exporter of pepper. If you're wondering why there's so much pepper grown in Vietnam, specifically on Phu Qua, it's because the soil here is really mineral rich, specifically in quartz, which is what the plant needs to grow. Did you know that white pepper is just black pepper without the skin? 
In 2017, the island produced over 1,200 tons of pepper, and they're aiming to do more this year. Now, I've read that some techniques for drying the pepper include flash boiling it, but I think the preferred method here on the island is to let the sun do all the work. That could take anywhere from five to 12 days. And the pepper here on Fuqua is mainly prized for three things. It's heat, it's pungency, and it's strong aroma. And when you're riding down the highway here, passing through pepper plantations, your nostrils will attest to it. One of the must-do things in Fuqua is to come to the nightly market. It you can literally find anything you want here. There's fresh seafood, <laughs> fish sitting in tanks, clams, sharks, street vendors selling gifts and coffee and whatever you can think of is on this street. There's over 100 stalls here and the market is basically split into a restaurant section and then more of your shopping area. Aside from pepper being one of the really famous things to take away from the island, Fuqua is also really known for its pearls and fish sauce. So there's lots of stalls set up with pearl items such as necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and then there's also lots of stalls with a ton of fish sauce. But I have read online, you cannot actually bring the fish sauce on the plane with you. So maybe do a little bit of research and think about that one before you actually buy it. Once you're done walking, talking, and window shopping, it seems like the vibe is just to sit back, eat some seafood, drink some beers, and hang out with your friends. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're at Aknak Kwan, which is our favorite restaurant right off the strip. You can't go wrong with anything you order here. Our top three recommendations are the Thai fried rice, the fried morning glory, and make sure you get the racer clams in the butter and chili sauce. It is phenomenal. But don't worry, we didn't forget you vegetarians and vegans either. Well, more so vegetarians. We're at Quan Che Khan Ali. This is the vegetarian house. It saved us multiple times. It's super economical and the food is banging. When you first pull up, all the items are listed out buffet style and you basically start with a plate and some rice. Jin and I filled our plates up twice and it came out to 35,000 dong per person. Now with secret insider tip, they do have this flame suit here. So when you go up to get your plate of food, point towards the back where the pots are on the stove and say soup. She'll know what you're talking about. It's delicious, it's like a pho. It's got glass noodles in it and the broth is excellent. Come hungry, leave happy. <laughs> Just in case you miss the night market, there's also a daytime market, and it's just over this bridge that we're riding on right now. This open air market seems to be open daily, and they're selling everything from vegetables to fruits to fish, to meat, to some other things that may not necessarily be on your food chain. Think of it as a giant outdoor open supermarket. The colors are vibrant, the smells are very fresh and sometimes pungent, but one thing is for sure, it is always crowded and it is always happening. Who knew all those years in home ec would really turn you into a wonderful woman, Jen? I don't wanna be a housewife. Now a lot of these pep, oh my God, look how much I just sunk in. Oh, that's just doo-doo, baby. I have to do this without sandals. 